Welcome to a new and exciting episode of the Everbranch Channel. After dark. Ooh, after dark. After dark. Uh, no, we're really just filming another um, interview. And I have Annabelle here. Um, Hi. From. Uh, we're doing this completely offhand, so feel free to promote any website that you have. My Facebook is just my name, Annabelle Markwick, A-N-N-A-B-E-L-L-E-M-A-R-K-W-I-C-K, and that's got my poetry on it. If you won't mind, I'll, um, I'll link to that in the description. Thanks. Awesome. Um, and you're, you're a regular visitor from London to Glastonbury, yeah. but you decided um, this summer to attend Glastonbury Goddess Conference, the Goddess of the Crone, uh, sorry, the, the Conference of the Crone. Um, so what, uh, what drew you to, to attending Glastonbury Goddess Conference this time around? Hmm, well, I've always wanted to come to the conference, and this year I just wasn't busy at this time, and I thought it would be really good to finally come. And I thought it was great that it's the crone because I really like the idea, like we're in the dark now, but there's nothing bad about the dark. So it's in the dark that the stars come out. It's a good thing to explore, that kind of energy. Is, is there anything you can um, you can let on here about, like you, your attachment to to the dark and the, um, and the night sky? Um, I, I believe you've... Um, You've possibly done the dedicated some poems to the goddess you eat. Yes, I have. That's right. Um, yeah, I really love her because we've all come from the stars. Because there's so much in us, the elements that make up our bodies, that are from stardust, um, from the Big Bang. So that's how I think you know the goddess probably created the universe, and that would be Nuit. She's like the goddess of everything, and she's in us, and she's also like up there. And it's just really lovely. Like tonight, it's very starry, and we've been up the tour, mm. we've seen all the stars. It's lovely. And understanding that as a process of, um, well, of chemistry, but even yeah. you know, uh, um, universal physics in general. Yeah, I've seen a scientific way as well, but it, also she's you know she's just love and, mm, and she mm. loves us. So. But but seeing it in that um, in that grand physical process, that's. That's very much an understanding of the, um, of that whole nature of uh, living and dying. Yeah, because I think in the end, I think Nui, she's not exactly a crone, she's more of a mother, but I think because she was the protector of the dead in ancient Egypt and she was found on the inside of sarcophagi, I would say that um, she's definitely, she's got that whole the way the crone cuts the cord when you die. So I think we'll probably go back with Nui and become a star again. Is there a famous sarcophagus that Nuit was um, was found on the inside of, like perhaps Cleopatra? Um, or it might have been. There's quite a few in the British Museum that have got her on the inside. It's not always apparent that it's her sometimes. She isn't always shown the way we think of her, like arched over. But you can sometimes tell because it will tell you next to it or something. Sometimes she was shown with wings as well. And I really like that idea of her having wings, like protective wings that she can wrap around you and... Like protect you from anything bad really and just sort of protect you whenever you need to when you're alive or also when you're dead because obviously she'll protect you when you go to the other world it's, it's really interesting and um, so what what have you been your major attractions at, uh, or, or major highlights of this week's Goddess Conference well I think the best part was the Death Lodge because I really enjoyed it, I thought it was really transformational, like going to our deaths in a pretend way, but it was, it felt a bit like, in a way we really were dying, but in a good way, and then walking along the road, it was really, yeah, it, it didn't feel scary anymore, which was good, so I think death is nothing really to be scared of, but in the end, it was just like so much euphoria when finally they put that stuff in our mouth, and then we were allowed um, to walk the life road, and it felt so happy I was just skipping along it and, and I lost my shoes and then I just went out into the street and I was dancing outside because it was just really happy. Yeah, it's really happy just to be alive and appreciate your life. I mean the two the two words I came to um describing um 
this week's Goddess Conference as the the evening after the um, that uh, death row ceremony was dark ecstasy, and yeah. I felt that's a part of the crone I I hadn't been um, in touch with before. So, uh, I, would you say it's it's good that these kind of events? help us to open up yeah. to aspects of the goddess we haven't known before. Yeah, definitely, because I think we should try and know her in, it, in her entirety. And I also think um, it's not... We shouldn't think that the darkness is bad, because the darkness is great as well, because everything in life is... Um, yeah, is... Is in balance. Is in balance, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, I, um, I w- um, was there... Was there anything else in particular as far as uh, guests of the um, of the conference that you most enjoyed? Oh yeah, I really um, enjoyed the music, like uh, Wendy Rue and Kelliana, because I hadn't really heard much of them before, and I really enjoyed mm-hmm. seeing them. And Anique, Radiant Heart, and um, Julie Felix, and um, who was the other lady? Liv- Lydia. Lydia Light. Yeah, is she singing as well? She was one of the singers, wasn't she as well? Uh, Lydia Light is the musician. Lydia Rule yeah. is um, is the lady who designs yeah. the um, oh. goddess banners. I, I may well, link to her. The banners were great as well. Mm, yeah, mm, I really the... enjoyed seeing them. But I also really enjoyed um, seeing Caroline Wise there. That was really interesting. Her talk mm. was really good. Caroline, Caroline Wise, lovely. yeah, Caroline Wise very much represents. Um, though, those of us who who serve the goddess in London, as yeah, she's, I really enjoy all her workshops about Ellen and everything. Mm, she's been a principal representative of the um, of the Fellowship of Isis and came this week to um, remember the uh, uh, the life of Lady Olivia Durden Robertson, who was the founder of the Fellowship of Isis. Yeah. Mm, so I, I think. Um, I think that's been a really, uh, I, as as tragic as tragic as Lady Olivia's death was, it was of course also inevitable and um, and just really nice that we could remember her in the presence of that crone energy. Yeah, it was appropriate because of the whole crone thing. Mm, mm, mm. Um, so so um, will you be? Um, returning to yeah yeah definitely will next year because the mother of bear I'm kind of seen as almost an Avalonian new week from mm. what I've read about her and things because she's got that kind of starry energy but she's also sort of a nothingness because new is she's she's yeah she's sort of the void and the universe and and uh, yeah and the stillness and the darkness you like that idea yeah. of being able to be in touch with the goddess yeah. through through sensual experience, particularly through um, aroma and smell and yeah, I quite like that idea as well. And also um, she is through, the mother of air, so mm, yeah. And also through breath yeah. and through, as you say, that understanding. The yes, the understanding that we are star stuff. Yeah, yeah, we are. We're we eat star children. <laughs> <laughs> That's excellent. That's excellent. You know, it's just so great to um, to get views from from everybody, young and old, on um, on the Everbranch channel, and um, understand that um, that notion in the community that we all come from separate dedications, but we're we're all going on a path that reaches the same end yeah. and should really just be seen not as one faith and a different faith, but as the faith. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Annabelle, and um, I sh- uh, we shall uh, leave it for this night. My next, uh, my next interviews shall most likely be conducted um, from from London again. Um, once I uh, return in in the coming hours. And uh, yeah, th- um, thank you very much to uh, to Annabelle. Thanks for interviewing me, and thanks for watching. Thank you for watching the Ever Ranch Channel.